Okay, welcome everyone. Let's we'll start our second lesson, um, organization behavior in tourism and hospitality. And uh, we'll go through today our LO2. My name is Anjum Satha. If you have any questions, please feel free. Just drop me email. I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. So before starting the lesson, we'll recap what we learned during our first lesson. So uh, let's you know we'll discuss anything you remember first lesson which we discuss. Uh, Hello. Not, not particularly. Sorry, I've been a bit busy, so I didn't review. Uh, okay. First lesson. No. no problem. So we'll go right. through today. First lesson we discuss about um, uh, management structure of a tourism industry. So oh, where yes. we discuss about type of and what is meant by hospitality, what is meant by tourism industries, how much worth of, and uh, we discuss about objective of hospitality industries. We discuss some models as well. So today we'll go through our LO2. And LO2 is all about learning outcome to explain the operational context an organization and critically analyze the way that he the way the business is affected by its external environment so we'll go through the external environment what is meant by external environment any thought external factors okay. external factor well done great Affect the business yes maybe like political economic factors social factors okay. Brilliant, excellent. Yes, economic factor, uh, factor, social factor, uh, technological factors, and all these you mm -hmm. know different factors, legal factors as well. So we can yep. discuss how these affect you know our um, businesses, especially in within a hospitality industry, is a huge you know the link with each other because anything happen in one part of the world can be affected in the other part of the world, especially as hospitality business because people can't move from one country to other country, that's really, you know, ultimately will impact our jobs, our profitability as an organization, so which will go through those, you know, uh, factors within our discussion as well. So let's will start. So welcome everyone. So let's will start our LO2, explain the operational context and organization critically analyze the way the business affected by external environment. So first of all, hospitality industry. Sector of the hospitality industries include the hospitality services, events which we arrange in hospitality, travel services also part of the hospitality industry, tourist services, visitor attractions and self-catering, holiday park, hotels, all these are uh, is under the hospitality industry. It's a huge, it's quite big, you know, industry because especially in terms of the UK, UK is more service industries from 90s onwards. So, so around 40 to 60 percent income directly or indirectly is coming from hospitality industry. That's, you know, 40 percent from different other uh, sectors. So hospitality played a huge role within the economy. So that's why I, as a country, we need to be look around how we can plan so external factor not really affect these uh, organizations. So next we're looking today, our uh, first 2.1, uh, explain the different types of tourism and hospitality organizations. So which will go through few organizations and we'll discuss and we'll look in details then. So travel, what's come under travel? So lot of things you know travel industries is a huge airline rails coach and also you know different things those involved in the traveling so all come under lodging hotels motels all all these you know is come under there so these are all the things is come under there so which one you think is the most giving more income for the country or organized uh, or which one which which hotels, 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 restaurants, maybe. Okay. Yes. What do you think? Which one is the most growing? Hotel is most growing business. 
Our gambling, our gambling park, recreation. Maybe travel. Uh, yes, so it's quite mixy, you know, the trends in different. But of of course, you know, hotels can be linked with others. So other growing hotel will grow as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And family hotel is a huge growing business, especially in the UK as well and other part of the world. So that's that's is a huge discussion is what will be happen in term of the Brexit and how this will impact you know on the hotel industry. Mm -hmm. So it's a huge link you know the free movement. Okay, so next now our discussion will be hospitality. What is actually meaning? We discussed in the last lesson, but maybe a bit you know recap as well because this is also linked with one and two. Yeah. Hello. Act of kindness in the welcoming and looking after the basic needs of the guests and the strangers. So we need to look around the basic needs, what basic needs are. So last lesson as well, we discuss about we need to be segment the population where they are from, what sort of the needs they have and the needs is basic necessity of life. So we need to look around and we need to look around what their wants are as well so we can meet them effectively. End of the day, our key objective to satisfy their needs and wants. So mm -hmm. recreation, entertaining of the guests, visitors, strangers. We need to be look around the goodwill is quite key things, you know, how we can develop our goodwill as a company. Any question? No. And this word is, of course, derived from the Latin words, meaning to be received as a guest. Mm -hmm. Hospitality. Mm -hmm. And the hospitality industry include the companies as an organization which provide food, drink, accommodation to the people who are away from home. Mm -hmm. So who are away from home is uh, will be uh, come on the definition of the guest, and we need to be a hospitality industry to try to be meet their needs and the wants. So it's healthy mm -hmm. and tourism industries meet the needs of the people which the kindness, goodwill while they are away from their home. So hospitality mm -hmm. and tourism industry has four service sector, food and beverage, lodging, recreation, travel and tourism. Like mm -hmm. earlier we mentioned, any question? No, no, understood. And the hospitality industry is about the service. So what's what's come? What do you think? What is the tangible and intangible? What is meant by tangible, intangible? Uh, tangi uh, tangible uh, products or uh, rather a product that you can touch or and an intangible, let's say, service or it, uh, you can define something as tangible or something you can touch, something that's intangible, something you can't touch. Maybe like a service. You can't touch a service, but you can touch a product. It's a tangible, something intangible is more of an experience, I would say. Brilliant. You're absolutely right. You know, the tangible, we can touch it, have a physical substance. So like mm -hmm. we are offering product, you know, in within a hotel. We're selling food. Yes, people can touch it, taste it, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's, that's a tangible because of the product. Product definition, uh, anything which has the ability to satisfy the human needs and wants we call a product. If any product not meet the needs and the wants of the consumer or the customer, it's not a product. We not it's not come under the definition of the product. So yeah. and the service is an instant. So it's a link with the human mood. So that's why we need to be think about the people, those are very smiley, those are can be engaged, those have a good interpersonal skill, those have a good cultural skills, you know, people can uh, can speak different languages, can understand mm -hmm. different cultures. That will help us in hospitality industry. So always because we need to think about those people are very um, really real asset as a, as a, in a company because when you speak in someone's in their own languages that really help you know, to dwell and to betterly understand. So mm -hmm. that's a huge you know the focus especially when we look around a merit sale line they have a, a crew from around 47 countries. So is it's quite you know this it's the as a 
traveler if need anything you know and the specific they can ask in their own languages as well so we need to be look around those and the service always there is a we need to look around the gap we always ask the gap because the service what the people are expecting and what they are getting sometimes we have a gap in the service so we not meet instant the needs and the wants of the customer so we need to be look around how we can reduce that gap uh we'll mm-hmm. go through some uh, some point in the next lesson is a gap model as well and we will try to identify what those gaps are right and uh, that is quite crucial in the service industry to identify the expectation and where we have a gap and how we as a company as a organization as a individual will try to fulfill those gaps okay right. any question here mm-hmm. no so this is all come the service service is a key link with the product as well a specialty industry is about the diversity yes so that's why is here is come about the knowledge about the diversity diversity people from different ethnic background they have a different and diverse always bring something new something maybe new dishes something new experience something yeah. new so that's create you know it's create itself business as well how we can interpret it and embed into and we launch a product or the services accordingly there mm-hmm. are the small and the large privately owned so are publicly owned you know the business there are the people are very socio economic classes cultural background and the race age all this is under the hospitality so both in the providing and receiving the service it's not only providing the services and receiving the services as well so hospitality industry reach every corner of the globe and while providing jobs entertainment and the food transportation of course right so hospitality yeah. industry is about the entrepreneurial yes how the people set up the business how the people want to be their own boss yes it's a huge mm-hmm. business it's not mean you have a big hotel it can be small service maybe you can make a contract um, like a taxi contract or you are just you know because you very familiar with the uh, historian things are within a city or the different within a area so maybe you can provide you know history if you are the history student maybe you know very well and you can reflect and you can provide the service you can set your own page and uh, of course you know gumtree are various other local websites as well where you can advertise your services people always looking and they want and maybe your background is you learn and you have knowledge about hospitality you have a degree in hospitality and people want those sort of the person to be their tour, tour guide so that's all you know we can look around and that's a huge business itself as well sir people are owned by the single person or the family this mean not only that there are the many hospitality and tourism jobs working for someone else and there is a lot of hospitality opportunity to work for yourself worldwide example of entrepreneurial creating a small business that become a big businesses like mcdonald marriott holiday inn and all these are is quite popular yeah hospitality industry is a complex why is a complex oh it has a big range let's say lots of jobs different types of business different types of uh, experience let's say activity x uh, yes it's very difficult to be understand everyone needs you know different sort of mm-hmm. it covers the wide range of jobs location and activities and economic bracket so we have upper mm-hmm. class lower class middle class not only within a country then we need to be look around what is middle or lower or uh, lower than lower so how you can uh, segment your product you know like you have a rooms for middle upper lower class and you set the prices but when you have a different countries people from there their purchasing power or their economic situation can be different so we need to be look mm-hmm. around those prospects as well so there are the four sector in the hospitality industry food so when we think food maybe we can think about is a vegetarian maybe we can look around different ethnic other food as well how we can you know beverage lodging and recreation travel and tourism so is a huge you know how will cope all these as a organization that is a big question mark 
yes if we want to be and how we'll try to be that's why we need some time outsourcing yes so we have a good connection with it and other thing is a booking booking is very very important as well how the people can and because there's a lot last few years is due to the lot of incident happen in the travel and tourism industry like recently mm-hmm. the thomas cook collapse people have really yeah. set back and uh, in the past you know various website they used to be book when you book for five star actually you're going you maybe it's not a two star hotel as well yes so we need to be look yeah. around you know how will how will increase the trust of because we showing on the website different thing but actually we are delivering different thing yeah so we need to be make sure you know we will be we will thus decrease the trust and ultimately will impact our business maybe yeah. only few organization doing within a sector but actually impact whole industry mm-hmm. so next we looking the hospitality industry the food and beverage industry also known as the food service industry consists of the business prepare food for the customer and the number of people employed in the food service industry is expected to the double is of course already doubles now approximately 22 million is no more than around 20 24 25 millions now right so lodging is also known as accommodation a place to sleep for one or more nights so business is lodging industry is provide uh, a place for, that's why is the concept carry on coming uh, house sharing room sharing like a car mm-hmm. sharing as well yes those sort of you know the concept is quite popular in the lodging like you know the pay guest you know in a house if you have a spare room so you can advertise as a pay guest yes so that's a huge yeah. you know is even is very small and it can be and then people maybe you have one room then you can buy a house and there are the five room and you can rent out in a season yeah. and you can have money and sometimes people like those you know instead of the big hotel because the big hotels sometimes can be because these small may be that meet the needs and the customer more accurately because depends huh? so we need to look around those as well and maybe we can focus now are we looking this segment of the population because we cook our food according to these these ingredients consist of so that will help you know those guests you know want yeah, yeah. to so hostel elder hostel all these you know the campgrounds and the highway side motels so these are quite growing recreation is any activity that the people do rest relaxation and enjoy the global recreation refresh a person of course that's a huge you know growing because people want to rest because people uh, working activities increase uh, and uh, is very less time when they have a holiday they really want to be travel around and rec- businesses are incredible diverse people have varying ideas on what activity they participate in the rest relaxation and enjoyment so that's why the music industry is come from where lot of sports yes yeah? so all mm-hmm. this you know yeah and uh, maybe then we can think about is we want weekly pass yearly pass uh different events pass you know when we charge different fees and family pass for family members if they book advance so we have a some cash flows carry on come so some people plan ahead some they don't yeah. so mm-hmm. we can look around the pricing different and the pricing strategies we can use there a stealth industry uh, travel industry is uh, in the business of moving people from place to place tourism yeah. industry provide those people uh, with the service and the promote the travel and fishing so we can look around buses plans caps and all under come and travel agencies play, play play the key role so we need to be look around we set up the apps and those apps you know how they provide how much information we providing on the uh, our apps as well maybe the apps can be linked with the various taxi uh, mm-hmm. for caps providers and we can link with the various other uh, local events as well because they can uh, book as well through our booking website and maybe yes. we have uh, those people go through our website we can get some commission as well mm-hmm. even without you know telling because we can be arrangement between various others because if we set up so we need to be looking on how we can integrate our website with the various uh, stakeholders so we can promote yes. their business and they can promote our business mm-hmm. so let's you know we'll do one activity we can think about 
So what does the term hospitality mean to you? Oh, you are, oh okay. Uh, hospitality means to me uh, if to go somewhere, to destination or somewhere, to maybe stay away from home overnight or for a couple of days. It's and maybe at the same time, hospitality means to host that person, that guest, to kind of serve their needs, to provide food and accommodation, shelter, comfort, and those type of things. Brilliant. Good. Away from home. Great. What section of hospitality in the industry have you visited or used? I've, uh, like a hotel, you mean like staying at a hotel or going to a resort or something? Yes, you know, because we already in the industry as well yourself so mm. I work as a waiter as well okay so it means of course you know the hospitality industry have you visited yes you visited you use, and you're yes, providing service as well in that section huh? yes so and is uh, that is quite you know the we First of all, you know, of course, we can think about the nature of the customer. We can how interpersonal skills we can. Maybe we can uh, greet greeting in different languages. Maybe we can look around and we try to be uh, learn those key words that will help us to be get the attention of the clients. Yes, and uh, those you know are uh, we can try to be explore different culture. Maybe people have a different taste, so maybe we can have those things. We all maybe we not in, in include in our conversation so that will help us to be included in our conversation mm -hmm. so that's you know because we can ultimately of course is a key objective our our role to be satisfied the needs and the wants and uh, if we have a good knowledge about it yeah, so we can try to be satisfied so maybe we'll carry on we'll say you know people coming from these, these, these countries, what sort of the food, what sort of the spices or what sort of the ingredient they like. So we can mm -hmm. uh, maybe we'll say, oh, excuse me, you want this or this. So maybe they are going to, are they thinking to ask, but they're not going to ask it because maybe they're not confident to explore it, even we are offering. Right, yeah. So that, that can be question. Okay, explain mm -hmm. the different definition and explanation of hospitality. How does the hospitality impact our, on our lives? What do you think? Mm -hmm. uh, well, the defini definition I gave you before, right? or oh, how does it impact our lives, maybe? I would say, like, it could impact our lives daily. Uh, it depends, let's say, like, you go out to have a drink or go to a restaurant. That's a form of hospitality. They Maybe food and beverages, let's say. Uh, uh, I'm not sure what else. Uh, uh, we can look around because hospitality industry impact our life, which provides us the source of income. Oh yeah, of course. So it's it helped to improve our standard of living, mm -hmm. and uh, it's also helped us to make friends. It's help us to learn the cult different cultures. Mm -hmm. it's, it's help us to be learn different languages. It's to help us to boost the local jobs for the local people. It's mm -hmm. help us to be boost uh, and they use our local ingredients. Like, mm -hmm. you know, maybe we can say Yorkshire farm milk in UK. We normally saying, oh, it's a, this is a product, a Yorkshire meat, or we saying, you know, in our areas. Mm -hmm. So exactly in your area, maybe we can think about as well. It's a huge, oh, you mean how, how it impacts society then as a whole? Yes, as a whole, you know, because it's the impact right. all the economy, local, no? So mm -hmm. it have a positive impact. It has some maybe negative impact as well. Sometimes, you know, the because negative impact can be culturally because we were culturally different and now we, our culture is carry on changing. People are learning different things, good or bad, yes. whatever. So sometime mm -hmm. in hospitality as well. And uh, that's, you know, we can look around, but ultimately it's uh, more is a positive aspect of it as the economy, as a job prospect. 
and the learning people as well. So let's we'll go through next. Now explain why do you think that this industry attract you know visitor to UK, or maybe we can say in your country, why you uh, think that people will visit there? Well, let's say in Greece, I, there could be a lot of reasons, but I think mostly for recreation purposes, for tourism to come and enjoy the sun, the history of the place, to relax and to kind of have fun. Maybe people have relatives, they can come visit their relatives and family if they can, or maybe for business. But I think most English people come just to have fun and have a holiday. Good. There's also historic, historical historical sites and stuff like that. Good. So historic history is there. So we can uh, promote the history in our, our website as well. Second, of course, you know, uh, relax, maybe music events in those peak seasons, uh, some mm-hmm. local events we can arrange. So mm-hmm. that's the reason people attract is some weather condition that's really appealing people to be because different weather in different country. So that yeah. this can be one of the reasons. Other reasons, of course, you know, can be uh, it's uh, because the currency, uh, if the strong currency and uh, different so currency yeah. values, that will help people to be easily, you know, it's less costly for them to go mm-hmm. abroad, even to spend relaxing within own country is maybe very expensive. So that's one other reason as well. Uh, yes, all this, uh, maybe we need to think about like in the UK, uh, especially the government removed restrictions on visitor visas in various countries. So mm-hmm. to attract, you know, and then the airline services and the local airport being set up. So that's, you know, that can be one other thing. Our different events like back in 2012, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, there was a games, uh, uh, yes, Olympic. So the, yes. the, at that time, you know, the UK economy was really in the credit crunch, like credit crunch starting back 2008-9. And that mm-hmm. stayed a, a good few years, but uh, UK economy re- really recovered from it due to the Olympic. And the, during Olympic, they increased the timing of the shop opening and closing. And 24-7, mm-hmm. the shops were opening and a lot of people traveled and ultimately helped, you know, to boost the economy and boost the jobs. Right. So it's not yeah. only the event sports itself, it's a link with various other things as well. Uh, yes, exactly in uh, Greece as well. Yes, so we can look around those. So well done, great. Any question there? Uh, no, I, I know. Okay, well done, great. So next we're looking at, uh, analyze the way in which external uh, operating environment impacts and the tourism and hospitality organization. So when we're looking, we always have a two types of environment. Mm-hmm. So one is called internal. Internal is also known as macro. Mm-hmm. And we also call controllable, yes? We can control it. We can adjust things within our organization. We mm-hmm. want to change infrastructure. We want to change the layout. We want to change the color scheme. We want to change uh, our operation. It's nothing is impossible for us. We can change within our organization. Yeah. Some is called external environment, external factors. Uh, we called is mac- macro, yes, mm-hmm. and is also uncontrollable. We can't control it. We have to adjust ourselves. Yeah. Whatever is happening in terms of the government, in terms of the legislation, in terms of social factor, we really as an organization or individual can't control it. We have to adjust ourselves. So we need to make yeah. sure how we'll adjust it. So we need a good information and we need a real time, you know, we need to make the real time decision uh, to make sure, you know, we have well aware of and we adjust accordingly. Light of Brexit, you know, uh, whatever will be happen, we have a contingency plan in place, you know. Maybe we can look around, it will impact 10% or 20% my income due to the Brexit. So 20% my income maybe will be short. So I need to be look around how I can boost my 20% activity from somewhere else. Yeah. So that's what we can look around. So we're looking the pest or the pestle analysis. 
uh, FAST stands for political. Under political, we're looking the political stability in the country. If there is a no political stability, that will create a problem. Like demonstration happening in Hong Kong, that impact huge industry as well. Right. Yeah. We can we can look around the tax policies. Yes, so mm-hmm. tax policy like um, Donald Trump reduced the taxes, corporate tax from 32 to 19 percent. So it's a huge reduction that give the, uh, the that give the company the chance to be set up business there instead of you carry on import or export more. Yes, so right. all this impact to uh, program for forthcoming legislation. So is a huge in the UK forthcoming legislation, new legislation incentive for export goods for abroad, giving you know the tax rebates to the companies to be entered in the UK and planning some sort of you know how this will impact on the economic activity in terms of the Brexit and what new legislation can be passed to address those. Mm-hmm. Uh, Employment law is a huge no, is a stress. People are really very difficult to keep the staff longer period of time because in the mm-hmm. past people used to be work 20 years in the same organization in the same role, but mm-hmm. not anymore. Even two, three years is a, is a huge time to stay in a, one organization. Yes. So because it's a lot of things change and uh, that's why the people carry on. Uh, but due to reduce the mental health, a lot of mental health issues uh, people have. So a lot of, you know, the new legislation passed like a flexible working hours. So flexible mean if you're running your organization in different shift and you want to avail those shifts, you know, if there is a feasibility, an employer should offer you to work in the night or the day or the afternoon shift, whichever suits you. Because yeah. if you have a family, you can, and uh, plus, you know, the, there is uh, your mental health issues as well to address it. Mm-hmm. Dominant uh, political ideology, so is a different ideology is political, like in the UK conservative and the Labour Party conservative yeah. is more about to cut and reduce the deficit of the country in the term of the budget. So they mm-hmm. pull out some investment, and uh, but the Labour is thinking, no, you borrow more money, spend more, and collect tax more, and ultimately economic activity will boost, and those will help you to reduce the, your deficit automatically. Right. So it's the two different ways to think about the things. And uh, then we're looking under economic activity, so what we can look around uh, inflation rate. So we always we need to look around. If in the country is a high inflation, what will be happen? The prices are increasing. This will impact on mm-hmm. this. So like we have inflation around 2 or 2%, more than 2 now is 3%. So that 3% inflation is a huge. So it used to be deflation, the prices used to decrease. So we need to mm-hmm. think about how we can, because if anything happen in uh, uh, Middle East, it can be oil prices and the oil prices leads to inflation as well. Yeah. And especially hospitality industry is very volatile as well in a way. Because if anything happen in one, it's impact as well. Exchange mm-hmm. rate, of course, exchange rate can be huge impact our hospitality industry. So currency, strong currency is always we need to look around. If our currency becoming strong, so people not going to commit because that's not affordable for them. Right. Yeah. So that's why the China never willing to revalue its currency because even Chinese currency can be stronger than. Uh, you us dollar but mm-hmm. they don't want to revalue it lot of emphasis mm-hmm. from the us to be revalue your currency because they have a lot of reserves but they mm-hmm. don't wish to otherwise their industry will be collapsed mm-hmm. uh, then we look around the economics growth by like lot of discussion carry on happening slow chinese economic growth it can be slow down the world economics growth so we need to be look around is a 5%, 6%, if from 6 to 4, like our economic growth in the UK, less than 2 now. So we need to think about less than 2 due to the Brexit in last 3, around 2 and two and a half, three years now. Almost is a discussion, is just a Brexit, nothing economic growth, anything else. So it's yeah. a huge impact on the job market as well. Taxation, yes, we need to look around what new taxation carry on coming, like, you know, the... Um, no. Sugar tax, 
those are the sugary products ultimately like coke pepsis are various other sugar drink so and as the hospitality industry is a huge impact can be those drink maybe people less consume because the price increase and ultimately we used to earn a lot of profit from it those by selling those no of course it this will impact our business as well so we have to address it so we need to be focused on those sugary drink so where we can save the taxes mm-hmm. Uh, unemployment rate we need to look around because uk unemployment rate used to be 6 6.5 now it's dropped down to 4% right so 4 4.5 so that's you know we need to be look around if the unemployment rate will reduce ultimately people more in jobs more in jobs mean they have more disposable income if they have more disposable income they can go for holidays and they can spend more money there so ultimately mm-hmm. the link you know then we can look around the social factor education living condition all you know education trend what is the degrees and people are moving around learning abroad trend in the fashion and taste industry what are trends we have in the fashion industry what taste religious belief and the employment pattern people like like lot of discussion about gig economy yes so you work few hours then you have few hours free uh, people are self employed and mm-hmm. no holidays pay and those sort of things you know gig economy is very popular terminology used right. so short okay. term you know, the job not in the consistent so that's why a lot of emphasis on the employer if you uh, on the self employed 6 month you should be offered them as a full time employment so that's why they carry on the company carry on playing with it they giving them into a new contract so you work 6 7 8 month and they give you as a new from the uh, from uh, is from the basic as a new contract and mean you are every 6 month you are a new employee with mm-hmm. the new employee number so just to mm-hmm. tackle the legislation side huh? which is unethical right. but they, this is these practices carry on happening in industry mm-hmm. technology we can look around investment in research and development yes how much money is investing research and development lot of in, um, investment is happening on renewable like renewable cups the renewable disposable yes solar mm-hmm. panels roof uh, eco sensor lights and various other things yes change yeah. in the information technology and the mobile tracking you can check you can uh, pick the food and you can see even the kitchen uh, google real time environment how the chef cook and how are we caring about the hygiene and these sort of things you know people really want to see what is happening inside the kitchen as well so through google real time environment inside the camera that will help and that will help to boost the customer trust so right. speed technology of excellence can be some technology is changing impact on the technology transfer so all these you know impact on the hospitality industry itself so when we look right. the, the benefit of the growth of the hospitality is a huge benefit uh, but there are the lot of impact you know due to the these environmental factors so we need to be focused so according to the recent U- uno reports 150 country tourism is one of the five top you know export earner mm-hmm. and in 60s in the number on the export so we can look around the developing country account for 40% of the world arrival and 30% of the tourism receipt so is a huge you know income for the country so that's we need to be look around some countries businesses purely is based on the tourism like yeah. turkey and various others as well so then when we look the political yes uh, since the t- tourism industry is affected by the current and the new government legislation it is important to understand the look the location of the political power and we need to look around the political power may change in the future and likely effect mm-hmm. of this policy so we can look around those the next uh, slide will look around the policies and objective of typical de- de- democratic political parties left are the right wing and uh, those can be left wing like you know is a huge discussion hate you know foreigners they don't want to be the they are uh, so lot of you know the people's views about different views so that can yeah. be so are introducing different taxes to be stop them in a way are increasing the visa fees that can be that's all you know leads to be impact on hospitality industry so these are all the political legislation so we need to be make sure how we will uh, address them any question here 
Uh, no. Okay. Then discussion point can be opportunities and threat chaining in the political environment. Right. What sort of you know that can be opportunities and threat? Some can be create opportunities. Some can create a competition policy. Yes. So competition policy. Any any hotel can open the new hotel, new branch. Yes. New hotel, yeah. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Planning permissions can be health and safety act. If it's a change, because a lot of incident happen, so how we'll make sure if anything happen, new legislation that also be impact on. Transport infrastructure, okay. new transport and infrastructure being introduced, maybe new railway mm -hmm. track, new HS2, uh, like in the UK, a highly speed train going to be introduced from 2024. So all this will be impact on the industries. Right. Global carbon agreements, yes, targets, which is, of course, we as an organization and as a country. Mm -hmm. Taxation and spending plan, disability and access legislation. Yes, in the, in the hotel, if you don't have a disability access point, we are going to close your hotel because you're not giving it. It's not because right. you're, going, you're going to differentiate. You're not going to be, it's mean, um, you're not providing equal opportunity to everyone. Right. So that's we need to look around foreign policy. Yes, our country, our country foreign policy toward our, our relationship with the next neighbors are yeah. various other part of the world that can be. Visa policy, yes, that can be huge impact. Regulation and deregulation policy, yes, we can regulate mm -hmm. to be government or own organization and we can deregulate the private organization. Like in some countries, hotels are all controlled by the government. Like, you know, in some part of the world it used to yeah. be, but no more is a deregulized, yes. Mm -hmm. Employment and training training policies. Yes, we have a local uh, commerce, a local businesses link, and they provide training to our hotel and employees about this. Mm -hmm. And those trainings are absolutely free. If they are offering their developing skill, they can better handle, and ultimately customer satisfy. And these, you know, can impact on the businesses as well. Yeah. Travel advisory note. Yeah, that's you can't travel it because there is a risk. There are such and such risk are there, so that's a travel, uh, travel advisory note can be impact. Uh, minimum wage, national minimum wage, like we have a eight pound 20, 25 pence now, and now the labor government is saying it should be 10 pence from 20, uh, 10 pound per hour, national minimum wage. So, but we need to think about, yes, the, how this will be impact on the businesses as well. Yes, of course. So these are, you know, we can look around. Then economics environment, uh, we can look around effect in different terrain, entity, entity mean organization in different ways. The success of mm -hmm. the international tourism destinations such as in Spain is affected by the economic fluctuation. It goes to the supply of the majority of its visitor tourism uh, generated countries as well as the economic attractiveness. So like now is a lot of rides going around demonstration in Spain due to, yes, independent yes. from, so that's, you know, that can be impact on those areas. <clears throat> Tour operations can be in various countries like in Germany, environment first, domestic economics environment affect the expenditure pattern of their second variety of different international economics environment. Uh, we can look around the provider of their tourism services will find international economics environment affect the demand of their services and the cost of supplying these services. <clears throat> what are the key variables? Those are, what are the key variables? Those can economics environment affect organization layers and tourism in two ways. Change in the economics environment can affect the demand of the organization product and change mm -hmm. maybe affect the organization cost. Mm -hmm. So it affects the demand and the cost. Yeah. So your fixed cost is still there, but your demand drop your per unit per person per gas profit will drop and ultimately you're not earning profit. You need less stuff now. Yes. Yeah. So sometime we'll use this uh, stuff planning as well, the costing, fixed cost, variable cost, and those sort of, you know, are semi-variable cost. And we can calculate, you know, where, which point we can maximize our profit. Yes. Yeah. So all this we can. And... Uh, Economics environment in demand taxes all this leads to like earlier is all into the points.
Any question there? Uh, oh, no, 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 I understand. Okay, the economic uh, environment and the demand, the key micro environment factor uh, affecting demand for the tourism industry are household income, export, import, and the government expenditure and investment. Right, okay. And then what determine the level of household income, borrowing expectations, yes, import, saving, mm -hmm. benefits, and taxes. The system, right, right. if government I mean, cut the benefit system and the people don't have a job up to the same level as well, that's a huge impact as well. Mm -hmm. uh, what determine the level of household consumption, real household disposable income, employment, benefit, taxes, borrowing, saving, expectation, all, you know, right. and the tourism organization interest rate. Do we know the base rate? What is meant by base rate? Uh. Uh, in order to take out a loan. The uh, yes, base rate base rate is called basic interest rate, which is set by the central bank in some countries called the state bank. Like in the UK, right. in the UK, zero point seven five percent. Is the base rate yeah. so less than one percent? So that will help to because if we want to be borrow as an organization some money from the bank. We can easily borrow money for around two, two point five percent with the interest rate. The, the base rate is is uh, the rate that the central bank sets for their banks, and then the banks loan to us at a higher rate, correct? Yes, which is central yeah. bank set the rate. So if the base rate will increase, like base rate in the UK was zero point two five quarter a cent, mm -hmm. so it went up to point five, then it went up to zero point seven five. So what's happened? The mortgage went up the payment people. So that's ultimately because bank normally add 2% there plus base rate. Mm -hmm. yes. Because they want to be on at least, you know, after deducting their at least one or 1.25, they can add if they borrow the money. Yes. But from the central bank, they can get the money from 0.75% interest rate. And exactly. they can lend out from other uh, banks or other in financial institution or organization 2.53 for a five percent interest rate. Mm -hmm. So inflation rate and the oil prices, of course, the also exchange rate in direct taxes. Like you know, we have uh, no. You have to pay on this this food. Even you have to pay on the cold you know sandwich as well. A wet value added tax. Yes. So all this we need to be. That's also impact on the businesses. Mm -hmm. So key microeconomic factor uh, of uh, affecting the cost. Recreation layers in it can be interest rate, inflation rate, exchange rate, and and then what will be happen in term of opportunities and threats? Low interest rate, high interest rate. So threat is a high interest rate. Opportunity is a low interest rate. Mm -hmm. Low unemployment is a opportunity for the hospitality industry. High unemployment mm -hmm. is threat for industry. High consumer expenditure is opportunity for and low consumer expenditure is threat for hospitality. Low price, oil prices, of course, is opportunity. High prices is low taxes, always opportunity. High taxes is a threat. Favor exchange rate is of opportunity. Unfavor exchange rate is stable price. If the price is stay the same, is opportunity. If the inflation there, optimistic up expectation, there can be opportunity. Pessimistic expectation can be threat here. Yeah? Right, yes. So, social cultural uh, environment, the factor in the social cultural environment of tourism industries, entities, is include the size and the structure of population, the mm -hmm. lifestyle and intracultural differences and other factors. So, like when we say a European Union, so have a, a, almost everywhere is a democracy. So, the and the system is and the legislation is more centralized, uh, employment or freedom of expression and those sort of things. But other, so that, these are all the factors is affecting or uh, is helping you know, to boost the uh, yeah. uh, tourism industry. So we need to look around attitude towards the environment, technological environment, technology environment offer both opportunities and threats as well, like other cheaper provisions, improvement, like in the UK's government offering to small businesses, 
free set up you know the website for them and some sports is available so some local council offering them free money to be set up your website boost your website are offering them some technical support on those areas as well so technological environment may be divided into information communication technology and other technology yes. <coughs> information communication technology is relevant to tourism industry and is always you know purchase of service post travel engagement and networking is very very crucial so it include yes. the reservation system hotel attraction system maybe we can look around those um, various other like opera system and various other software integration system with the tax with the authorities you can check if the person is a criminal or where they have or they have a hold visas or not you're not asking yeah. document you're just asking please keep your finger on this electronic machine and we can verify your details quickly mm -hmm. yes right. so are uh, you want to check it so how you can centralize it yeah so technology can help us mm -hmm. uh, so networking and the web and the price comparison side all these you know help to be boost and other technology we can look around the significant impact or uh, the construction techniques a lot faster yeah of building uh, the bridge technology mm -hmm. material glass fuels energy and the security scanning you know the machines quicker we can yes so people can are now is a self reader machines like a passport and the data sharing between uk and eu and the quickly you know people can put the fingers and scan their passport and leave the barriers they don't mm -hmm. have to involve you know any so that will yeah. help you know and that's ultimately help to boost as well so summary of the past we can political economic social and technological those we discuss all these impacts on positive and the ne negative it can create opportunity it can create a threat yes so opportunities and threats always like we discuss about swot sw and ot strength weaknesses opportunities and threats sw mm -hmm. is internal and ot is always external right opportunities and threats always come from the external environment but mm -hmm. as we ourselves as an individual as a organization we need to cooperate we need a good information and we need to be good understanding about it. we have to adjust ourselves yes our operations accordingly mm -hmm. any question no these are all the key terms that we just explain yes so so whenever we will do some sort of research so we always looking for trend s and o and we look we always compare with external opportunities and threats threats so this is my internally if we as a organization strong we have a good brand image we have a good financial health mm -hmm. and uh, then maybe we can look around if even outside is a threat so as a, because we are strong we can overcome those threats we can launch other product we can offer them cheaper we can still sustain in a business if we are weakness we don't have a good financial health as a company as an individual so mm -hmm. but outside is opportunities we know there are the growth there but mm -hmm. we try to be overcome our weaknesses maybe we can make the joint partnership with other company right. or we borrow money from to overcome our weaknesses because the opportunity is already there right. and sometime it can be we are weak we don't have a finances we don't have a knowledge we don't have a skill we are new company and uh, outside is a thread many people are doing same thing and they are offering cheaper than us which then is a very difficult for sustain so in that case better to be don't enter in that business try to be, stay away from it because we are weak and outside is a threat many people doing so there are the high risk mm -hmm. so we can compare our internal with external eh? yes so that will help us so we'll keep up to here so i copied the link for you as well if you want to watch some videos how they impact industries Okay. So just copy this link and you can watch. Mm -hmm.
is quite good too. And uh, then uh, I'll show you. I'm going to send you one document as well, which I'll upload on Moodle, which help you as well to further explore and look around specific hotel examples. And that's totality that will help you to be dwell further understanding. Okay. Uh, uh, that's a uh, lesson to hospitalities which we are doing, and this is quite good to read. UK hospitality industry, or maybe you can look around your own country in the same ways. Uh, yeah. Different customers, maybe it's a lot of activities within the, within the document that give you a lot of figures. Yes, different case studies we can look around. Mm -hmm. And uh, 1.3 link with other industries, how this can be linked and how, where the risk can be come from. And uh, this external environment and how we'll make sure different people, different needs, how we'll try to explore and we'll try to be adjust. What is the service meant by? And we have a case study client. We have a different client. Accommodation facilities, uh, sectors, uh, and various self-catering services, clubs. Yes, how the cafe bar and things is the link with it is growing. Yes, low cost, high cost, what will be, how we can generalize it. Yes. Okay, all this. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's all about external factors. Okay, right. So that will help you. And uh, any question? Uh, no, I, I understand everything. I'm just approving. And so next lesson will go through our LO3 and I'll discuss with you how we can structure our assignment and how we can address it and uh, how okay. we can use reference and uh, how we can create reference and how in MS Word we can uh, uh, do the reference or use the Harvard reference style by using MS Word. Huh? Okay, cool. Microsoft Word. So uh, we'll keep up to here. Anybody, any question, please? Uh, no question. So no. my email address here, in case if you have any question, feel free to drop me email. So today we learn about hospitality industry, sector and external environment, how it impacts mm -hmm. on the hospitality industry. So next lesson we'll go through I love three. Please guys, just carry on doing background reading. Look around, just think about the organization near to you or in your country where you're from. That will help you to be develop understanding as well how the hospitality industries work and mm -hmm. think about the uh, forthcoming legislation of your government or political party or if there any election happening the pol political in uh, manifesto that will help to be explore it and uh, we can as a hospitality industry manager you have to uh, we have to follow mm -hmm. so we keep up to here and uh, have a nice weekend i hope so i will speak to you next week same time okay. Thank you. You have a have a good weekend too. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, mate. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you.